Hello, everybody, and thanks for joining me for Decepticasts Part 3, Episode 12. Or the other way around, Episode 12, Part 3. <laughs> Where we're going to take a look at Bunch of Heroes, which is a new indie game that just came out for the PC, but I believe it was already out on Arcade, uh, and possibly also uh, PSN. Uh, so this is uh, the basic premise uh, summed up here, is that aliens have invaded the Earth, and raised a zombie army and you must defeat them. You can play co-op online um, or local with up to four people um, but the main thing is that there's not very much content which I'm gonna notice, I'm just gonna point out to you right off the bat. There are only three campaigns and each campaign only has three levels um, the levels all end in a, uh, or the campaigns all end in a big boss fight, but um, other than that, they're pretty, uh, pretty standard. Um, so I'm gonna try this cemetery one out, and if I die a lot, that'll suck. But whatever. All right, so I'm gonna be playing alone, unfortunately, because no one wants to sit through having to have me cast while we're trying to play. Um, there are four characters um, that are only really distinguished by their appearance and their um, ultimate ability. Uh, other than that, they're completely identical, as far as I can tell. Um, so I'm just going to pick random and start the game. So we're in the second campaign. It's called The Cemetery. Um, the first campaign is The Farm, and the final campaign is on Mars. There is some semblance of a story, although it's mostly just uh, trying to be a little bit campy and hilarious. Um, so it plays like an arcade top-down shooter. Uh, you move around with W, A, S, and D, you point and shoot with your mouse, um, and then you also have grenades, um, you can hit spacebar with a direction to roll in that direction, um, and uh, let's see what else is there. You can also right click to melee, you can hit F to throw a grenade, and um, once you charge up that little blue meter that's underneath my health bar, you can uh, unleash your ultimate ability which will uh, really just clear out any number of zombies pretty much. I, know it, I haven't met a zombie yet that it does not, or monster yet that it does not kill. Uh, these crates provide uh, better items. As you can see, I just picked up a flamethrower, which is very much more effective than the starting Uzi, uh, which has to reload every few shots, and it's just not that effective overall. So right now I have a quest, as you can see in the upper left, to kill radioactive zombies. I've got to kill nine more, I believe. Um, but uh, with the flamethrower, it's going to go a little bit faster than it has been. Ooh, a minigun. I haven't tried this before. Uh, it does look quite effective here, actually, yeah. It's similar to the flamethrower in that it has a huge clip, but uh, dissimilar in that it fires the long-range bullets instead of short-range flamer. These guys with the um, bayonets, they can charge up to you really quickly, while the radioactive guys just do, I believe, more damage. Alright, so I've got my ultra ready now. It's all charged up. Um, so I'm going to unleash it for your benefits. So, as he is a Soviet feller, and I've got my next quest lined up. The quests are always the same each playthrough of a level. Um, they're different per level, but they generally are the same type of thing. Either kill these, or escort that, or whatever. Uh, so. Um, but yeah, so the ultimate, as he is a Soviet, is to uh, throw some Cuban cigars that explode. Because people tried to kill Fidel Castro that way. If you don't believe me, look it up. They really did. Exploding cigars. It's Bugs Bunny, man. So this over here is a grenade launcher. Uh, it's, it's, it's decent. The problem with it is that you can only fire the grenades a certain distance, so you're left switching back to your Uzi for close range. And then when you can get them back far enough away, you can start firing grenades. We've got a... It's interesting that all these uh, levels take place over a uh, World War II German graveyard because all the bad guys are... are, uh... Nazi-themed. Um... Just makes it easier to kill them, I guess. So here's the explosive crossbow. It's a bit more interesting of a weapon than the grenade launcher because you have a bit more control. You fire it. It beeps a few times and then it blows up. It helps if you can actually uh, fire accurately. This is a new weapon, a rocket launcher. 
Alright, that's pretty darn effective. And I seem to have gone too far north to rescue the girl I meant to rescue. As you can see, I'm slowly draining health. There is also friendly fire when you're playing with teammates, so there is that challenge. And also if you're playing by yourself and you just happen to grenade yourself. Uh, it looks like when I get too close to those radioactive zombies, they start unleashing their radioactive goo on me. Oh man, this is bad. Oh man, that didn't that dropped grenades. Not not a new weapon. Okay, but there are these turrets which are quite effective. You can uh, pick them up and then set them down, and they set down whatever direction you're facing. All right, so when I pick up a cheerleader, I get uh, my I can only use my Uzi, but it does have uh, unlimited ammo and it does not re need to reload. Um, however, I did just go the wrong way again, and I'm hoping some health comes out of that crate. It did not. So I'm in a bad, bit of a bad way here. I may not be able to get myself over to that waypoint where I dropped the girl off. If I don't, that's fine. We'll just call it there. Ooh, rocket launcher. So now I can set her down for a moment. Hit Q, switch the rocket launcher, and then just start unleashing. Just trying to clear a path for myself, basically, here. This is this sort of idea. When you kill those guys, they of course explode as the propane tanks on their back clearly it indicate. My health points are getting low. And I am surrounded. So... So surrounded. Not so good. You can't roll while you're carrying her either because she's too stupid to walk with you. So, the game is well designed, the, the colors are impressive, the control is good, the art direction is good, the weapons are good, there's a good variety of bad guys, the bad guys, it's all pretty obvious what the bad guys are going to do when you see them, you know, you don't have to look very long at those propane tank guys to say, oh, they're going to explode when I kill them. Um, you don't have to look long at the guys with the bayonets to go, they're probably going to charge at me. Um... But where it lacks again is level content. You know, you, you, it is meant to be a multiplayer experience, but ultimately you just don't um, you just don't have a lot of content for the ten bucks. Of course, it won't be difficult for them to add content, but uh, I haven't seen anything indicating that they're planning on it. Oh, and there was a health pack here too, but it despawned. So now I'm just in a lot of trouble. All right, what I'm going to try to do is use my ultimate to kill this. And it did drop health, yes. All right, now I've got my rocket launcher out again. Whoop. And that's out of ammo. And now I'm in a lot more trouble than I was in last time. I don't even have the girl to give me the unlimited Uzi. Alright, I'm meant to be going this way, and I'm going to grab that turret on the way, of course. If you don't know about the roll and you try to play this game, which was the case the first time my roommate and I tried to play it, uh, it it goes a lot worse. Alright, I've got some f a freezing flamethrower now. That's pretty cool. not clear how much damage it's actually doing to them, if it's killing them or if it's just halting them momentarily. Uh oh, reloading, bad news. You can also hit R to manually reload whenever you'd like. Alright, I've switched to the shotgun now. Not sure if that was a great move, but... What choice do I have, really? These barrels, by the way, explode as well, of course, as you would expect by looking at them momentarily, even. Alright. Now with that turret, I will be able to... Hopefully... Get that down, and indeed I did. Alright, with the flamethrower in tow. Alright, so now I have this many seconds to defend that fleet, those cheerleaders if they 
die in that amount of time, I'm in trouble, and if they don't, it's okay. I get to move on. So now we've got these guys in the mix. Uh, they always fire in that little 180 arc there. So it's somewhat predictable and easy to dodge. Uh oh. You don't friendly fire the cheerleaders, uh, in case you were wondering why I was able to just recklessly flame on them. Um, so that makes them a little bit easier to defend. Uh, you can. Ooh, a ninja zombie. That's a new one. seems like flamethrower is probably the most effective weapon. Uh oh, that cheerleader's light. Looking a bit light. Needs to put this up to protect her. And there, I finished defending them. Uh, so now I can move on. I have an AK-47 now, which is exactly what you would expect it to be. Alright, now I need to go defend in this zone up here. what these ninja zombies are trying to do. Alright, so as long as I stay in this circle, the counter goes down for those guys, but if I step out, it goes back up. So I have to stay in here, which is okay, because now I've got a rocket launcher to defend myself with. That's going to be some additional ammo. If I can get to it. Whoop. Yeah. Oh, a health pack, a precious, precious health pack. Oh, thank you, health pack. That's another one. I'm almost back up to full health here. You do have um, lives as well, that number under my character's portrait, that three. Uh, that's how many lives I have, so I can die, and I won't have uh, necessarily failed the mission, but let's say I die and don't respawn before they kill a cheerleader. Then I would not, uh, then I would fail and have to start over the level again. Right. It's not a rifle, stupid. And now I've just got some stuff to kill. Switch to the disc shooter here. Whoop. Whoop. I'm in a bit of, bit of a bad situation here. And I keep missing with this thing. There we go. So it's a uh, lure is that it fires through things pretty effectively, and it can fire quite quickly. Uh, so it's pretty 